All right, welcome back. Today, guys, we've got the 6S EXB on the bench. Uh, super excited about today's video, guys. We've got an exclusive product for this EXB. If you own a Armour 6S rig, whether it's the Notorious or um, the 6S V5 Creighton RTR, or even this EXB, you would be aware of a common issue that you have with all of these rigs guys and that is this damage that you sustain from the shock tower on your body this rig is scratch free the only damage that I've got on this body is this these shock towers and this happened pretty much on the first or second bash I started getting this raised area I'm uh, really really disappointed because this body looks amazing and I wanted to keep it looking as nice uh, for as long as I could. And, uh, and with these nose guards that I've got on there, the roof rails, it has actually stayed scratch free. I'll we'll quickly show you that them raised areas you can see there. So these parts here are from directly from the shock tower themselves. And then this here is actually the shocks and the nuts that go on the end of the shocks. I've been, I've been pushing against the body. So guys are really disappointed about that and I'm sure you guys will be disappointed with your brand new rigs and damaging them pretty much straight away like it does. As I said, we've got an exclusive product that's been sent to me for testing. I want to give a big shout out to Liam from LST 3D Printing. And guys, Liam has designed a product that we should be able to install very easily onto the top of the shock tower and that should hopefully protect our body from this damage so really excited about this guys um, it's 3d printed super flexible which is a really good thing and look how thick the printing is so it's, it's super looks really durable i'll show you how we're going to be installing this and how it's going to help. Let's get the body off. You can see we've got a couple of holes there and there. And if you look, the way that this is shaped just around this edge here, it matches the shape of your, your shock tower itself on both ends. So it looks like this whole thing sits on top like this and these parts here uh, snugly fit around your shock tower uh, and must keep it in its position. And then it looks like we just put a couple of cable ties through them two holes through the shock tower just to hold everything down. Let's just clip it on. Wow. That looks good guys. So it fits quite snugly on the top of your shock tower. I'm really happy with that. So you can see the two holes and we're just going to run a cable tie straight through it. So I'll run it from the back. So through the shock tower like that. And then back through this hole. And we'll just feed it through. And that's it. That's one done. And just pull them tight. All right. And that's how simple that is. So that's quite good, guys. I quite like the way he's uh, designed this. So we're actually covering the top of the shock tower itself now completely. So we've got this flat surface, and this flat surface is also just just underneath the body ports so that would mean that it won't it's not going to be interfering with my body at all which i'm really happy about guys i'm quite liking the way that this sticks out as far as it does it's protecting the shock tower against the body and it's also covering the shock caps as well maybe that's gonna help us give this these screws a bit of support upwards as well so guys, I'm happy with that. Let's see how the body fits on top now. 
All right, the body's on. Let's see if we can get these pins in. Oh, yes. Let's get that one in. There we go. There we go, guys. And that feels solid. Right. That's the new mod installed. Guys, we've only got one thing left to do. And that is to get this thing out and give it a test. Guys, we're at the BMX dirt track. And last time we were here, guys, we did end up breaking the front arm on this rig. So I'm hoping today will be a bit better. But guys, let's have some fun. All right, guys, first jump. Let's go. Whoa, that was amazing. <laughs> this thing is running a 12 tooth pinion. I wasn't expecting it to jump as high as that. All right, let's go again. Whoa, that was nice. Whoa. Let's see what happened there. She landed. That was nice. Next jump. I've not hit any of these jumps, so I don't know how fast to hit them or anything, guys. So bear with me. Let's see what happens. Whoa. Whoa, right on the nose. One more. Nice. Whoa. Saved it. Whoa, that was nasty and it's gone down the hill. <laughs> All right, guys, this is a humongous jump. Let's see what happens. Whoa, that was epic. All right. Let's do that again. Whoa, right on the nose. I couldn't save it. I should have done a front flip. <laughs> but that's a good test for the front nose anyway. Let's carry on. That was nice. My lipo checking alarms going off. <laughs> Let me just turn that off. All right, it's off. I've got to do one more. <laughs> Whoa, that was nasty. We're out in the front nose. Let's check it out. I think. It looks all right. <laughs> the EXB is acting as an EXB today. <laughs> right, guys, let's move on. All right, we've got ourselves a tabletop. That was nice. Whoa, that was nasty. Whoa, right on the nose. She's all good. Let's carry on. Whoa! <laughs> EXP tough, baby. Whoa, I just got it. Oh, that was sweet. Right, last one. We'll move on. Whoa, that was nasty. Okay guys, let's hit this jump. Whoa. Whoa. 
that was nice. That was nice. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> oh, I just missed the jump. Let's try that again. Whoa. <laughs> Struggled just about got the back back down again to land it. Oh. 12th tooth isn't too bad, but if you want to be doing backflips, then I think you need a bit more speed. But just for normal jumping, I think a 12th tooth is perfectly fine, and these batteries are definitely lasting a bit longer. Whoa, right on the nose. <laughs> She's all right. Man, this thing is taking some punishment. Right, one more. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. All right, guys, we're going to have to call it a day. Another epic bash session with this EXP. Not broken anything. I haven't bent anything. The lights are still on there. Really bar spoiler uh, sat a bit lower at the back i don't know if that's a shock or what so i might have a look at that um other than that let me have a look at this front nose let's just see if that's that new mod for the shock tower i stayed oh yes so it's definitely stayed put i've got a couple of zip ties as i showed you earlier uh, holding that in them zip types of zip ties have held their ground well We've got these, we've got these at the front and the rear guys and they've been superb. I haven't broken this bumper yet and guys this bumper's taking some heavy front hits. So I was expecting that to be broken. Guys we're back home. Time to have a look at this body under a bit of light and see how well it's coped with today's bashing. These marks that are already that are on their body were from the previous bashes and I don't think there's, there has been any more damage sustained to this body from today's bash which is really surprising this thing took an absolute pound in today I can't believe this thing is still in one piece so guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed make sure you do because I will be letting you know as soon as this body saver is is made available and guys i will also give you a link to where you can get this from as well i don't expect it to be very expensive so it will be affordable and it's definitely a no-brainer from my side anyway so again it's been an absolute pleasure and until the next time see ya mm -hmm.